Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike Panetta with Tech Examined, and today we're checking out a couple lenses from the folks over at Zeiss. So I'm gonna preface this video right off the bat by saying, by no means am I a professional photographer, probably not even an amateur photographer, most likely a little bit more than a beginner. So as far as uh, the composition and everything that we're gonna see in these photos, probably not the best. Really what I wanna do is just kinda go over different things with the lenses that we got here from the folks at Zeiss. Now, first off, we have uh, from their older um, Loxia line, is the 50 millimeter uh, f2 uh, lens which absolutely awesome for portraits uh, close-up shots get that bokeh effect going on uh, just an awesome lens now this has been around for a while the new lens on the block or the new line of lenses are called baddest lenses now this is the 25 millimeter uh, f2 there is an 18 millimeter which if you want to check out any of the quality on those I will link uh, Geeky Nerd Dad and Tomas Viegas down below. They have that lens. And uh, as well as, I believe it's an 80 or 85 millimeter. Don't quote me on that in this line as well. But the 25 millimeter gives you a nice wide angle. Uh, not as much as the 18, but <laughs> just as good. This is an autofocus uh, lens and, uh, or not manual, I should say, fully automatic and uh, it's just an incredible lens. Now, you would think taking a look at these that uh, this one would be heavier, but it's not. The l weight that they, distribution they've done on this or whatever they've done with these lenses are amazing, and the pricing is just as good, so we'll get into that in a minute. But what I really wanted to do with these lenses and, and try out is my Sony a7S II is more geared towards video. The great low light performance, uh, you know, just all around awesome video camera. What it's not really known for is a photography camera. If I really, uh, or should think that if I really wanted to take quality pictures and really get in depth, the a7R2 would probably be the better bet. Uh, the a7R2 being a 42 megapixel sensor and this one only being a 12. However, I wanted to test that theory out with these lenses and see exactly what I could pull from it on the a7S II compared to the a7R II, which the photos uh, that I got were provided by Geeky Nerd Dad. Now, obviously seeing them on uh, video and whatnot and putting them on the computer, it's a little bit tougher. What I wanted to do was actually print out photos, actually print them out, blow them up, zoom in, crop, and I wanted to see how the 12 millimeter I'm sorry, the 12 megapixel held up to uh, the 42 megapixel of the a7R2. So let's go ahead and change this up. I'm going to show you some of these photos. I did uh, 4x5, 5x7, and some 8x10. So let's check them out. All right, guys. So here are some of the photos that I went ahead and uh, printed out and got professionally done. I, di I didn't print these out. I hadn't. I ordered them. So we did the 4x5, the 5x7, and the 8x10. And again, what I really wanted to do was determine if there's really any uh, photo uh, degradation uh, when you start blowing up the S2. Now, obviously, I didn't expect to see any kind of degradation on Larry's uh, A7R2 for obvious reasons, being the 42 megapixel. But the A7S2 held up pretty well. So Larry shot these with the 18 millimeter baddest lens, and you can see how well they turned out. Uh, on this regardless of the size now I did blow this one up a little bit on the 4x5 just to see how it turned out for that and it was absolutely amazing so definitely couldn't uh, tell anything with that now here's my camera I took this with the 25 millimeter baddest lens and uh, we've got the 4x5 here and uh, we got it blown up to 5x7 and of course the 8x10 I am extremely uh, pleased with how this turned out now Definitely shouldn't see really any kind of issue uh, with the smaller size pictures. 12 megapixels still is pretty decent. You know, that is a that is a great, um, you know, quality. You shouldn't really see any issues with that unless you got a really crappy lens. And, you know, then obviously or you're not focusing properly or doing that. So, uh, as you can see here, I did a little better job with uh, coloring this one as opposed to this one. This isn't as vibrant as it could be. So, but everything is extremely clear. Uh, there is no uh, pixelation even going in the larger picture. So 
I'm extremely happy with that. I don't know if I would really go anything larger than this anyway. So I'm pretty happy with it. Now, obviously, I'm going to keep trying this and seeing how well it turns out uh, on that uh, down the road for other pictures in different uh, settings. Uh, perfect day out. Sun, you know, is great. Um, you know, the lighting's perfect on that. And uh, here is um, another one I did, uh, that, or I should say that Larry did. And you know, I just realized I don't think I have a 5x7 of that uh, on there. So shame on me, but uh, definitely not going to be disappointed in that as well. So very, very quality photo. Great coloring, too, that Larry did on that uh, as well. So awesome photo. Definitely uh, frame-worthy on that. It's just such a such a great quality photo and definitely blew up well on that and uh, cropping that as far as that goes. So awesome picture on that and uh, that he took. Now, I also did uh, the same thing with uh, my 25 millimeter. Perfect lighting. Everything exposed well. You know, everything looks good. Uh, I, you know, not overexposed, not underexposed. Probably could have did a better job on the coloring uh, and the grading on that. But again, I'm extremely happy with the way the S2 turned out on that. And this is a little different. I, I did this, uh, blew up the 50 millimeter, just to see if I could really tell any difference or uh, losing any kind of, um, uh, you know, quality uh, with a different lens, you know, that may not be uh, the same style that's going to really focus in on the subject and uh, blur out the back and give you some nice bokeh effect. And I'm extremely happy with this. I, I, I think that this is frame worthy. I think I'm going to like that. And maybe do like the smaller one or even the little larger one for a frame for me. I just, I love the picture. I love the way that she looks in it. And uh, I love how sharp it is. And, uh, you know, definitely happy with the way that that turned out blowing it up. Uh, would you guys want to see bigger photos blown up to see if we could really tell a difference in that to go larger? I mean, we always joke with the uh, A7R2, you know, you could do a billboard with that thing <laughs> at 42 megapixels. But 12 is not shabby at all. Obviously, you can see that by the 8x10, but do you guys want to see bigger? They are a little expensive to do, but for the sake of the video, I mean, heck, I, if I find a picture that I like that's good enough, sure, I'll blow it up to a 11 by 15 or, you know, whatever the sizes are on that. So I hope this helps someone out down the road, you know, someone's watching this video to see which camera they want. If, you know, the A7S II is great for video. Uh, bar none, awesome low light. I mean, I barely have any lights on in here, but the lights above, and uh, you know, I'm able to mess with the video and get it set up properly so you can actually see the photos. Zeiss, I want to thank you guys so much uh, for sending these lenses out to me to try out. Absolutely awesome. And unfortunately, I got to send them back. So, you know, what are you gonna do? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll pick one up down the road. But I mean, the the, the pricing on the baddest line is in, is insane. It's so inexpensive for this quality lens. I mean, they're over a thousand dollars, but they're less than fifteen hundred. And I know some folks might think that that's a lot, but it's not. So you cannot go wrong with that. So again, guys, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And uh, again, uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, you know, we got more content coming up. Uh, thanks LD for letting me uh, uh, blow these up and uh, sending these to me and let me do that. And I hope I did them justice. So guys, Take it easy. You all have a good one. Getting back into the mix here. And uh, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video.